The Democracy Forum is a not-for-profit organization founded in 2009 under the patronage of Baroness Nicholson of Winterbourne. Its principal goal was to work for the furtherance of democracy, peace and the rule of law in order to counter religious fundamentalism and intolerance in our global communities. In an increasingly fractured world, this goal continues to be the driving force behind all of the Forum's activities. Lord Charles Bruce is the current president of the Forum. Since its inception, the Forum has hosted and co-hosted seminars on a wide variety of topics relating to democracy and human rights across the world. Some of our most recent events are as follows. In May 2017, the Forum organised a seminar on the UK's forthcoming exit from the European Union. The Forum's President, Lord Charles Bruce, inaugurated the seminar, which was chaired by journalist Humphrey Hawksley. On the panel were Richard Burge, Dr Linda Yu, John Elliott and Lord Megnath Desai. Earlier in February, at a seminar held in the House of Lords, the Democracy Forum took up the issue of the Pakistan-occupied province of Baluchistan, raising legal, historical and moral points and attempting to find a lasting solution to the problems plaguing this disputed region. The keynote speaker was the Khan of Kalat, His Highness Amir Suleiman Daud. There was a lively question and answer session following the panelists' addresses. Kasab, you've been saying uh, repeatedly that if you go to court, you'll win. Do you actually have a plan to go to court? Yes, we have, uh, uh, like on human right basis, yes, there are uh, uh, venues open for us. You also spoke about what you described as occupation of uh, Balochistan by Pakistan. We are uh, in contact with most of the uh, Western countries and uh, with their parliamentarians, with uh, the members of Congress in the United States and uh, with all friends who are not friends with Pakistan. In September 2016, the Democracy Forum joined with the Henry Jackson Society to host a seminar entitled, Is Pakistan a Victim or Perpetrator of Terrorism? This generated an intense debate as it raised issues of state-sanctioned terrorism, threats to global democracy, and the problems of blowback terrorism attacking the original sponsors. Speakers included Dr. Christine Fair of Georgetown University, Washington, D.C., and Conservative MP Bob Blackman. Well, it's happening because of the current uh, dreadful situation of international terrorism, which we believe is being sponsored by several states. Is Pakistan the perpetrator or victim of terrorism? I think the answer for most of the speakers, and we have five distinguished speakers, will be that it is both. I am not here to bash Pakistan. Let's not equate Pakistan with its establishment or army. There, Pakistan is a broader uh, entity. Pakistan has a civil society. Pakistan uh, has uh, 160 million other people. The national interest, which is defined by the army, is problematic. In June that same year, the Forum held a seminar at the University of London Senate House to discuss the dangers of nuclear materials falling into the hands of terrorists. A panel of speakers including Shashank Joshi from the Royal United Services Institute and Dr. Pervis Hoodboy, a particle physicist from Pakistan, discussed this ominous scenario and agreed that there were security failings in the nuclear industry that represented the danger of a dirty bomb. Basically, this is something that is unstoppable. Mm. And yet it cannot be accepted as unstoppable. It has to be stopped yes. because the world is under threat. To. But on the issue of uh, will terrorists get hold of it, I think that it is far less dangerous now than it was in the early 90s. 
because in the early 90s you had the collapse of the Soviet Union and you had huge stockpiles of nuclear material which was available to people and this was precisely the time that Al-Qaeda was beginning the first attack on, on the World Trade Center, which was in 1993. China is both trying to limit India's growth as a regional hegemon and as well as establishing trading partners that are specifically proximate to it in terms of its borders. China is very clear about what it, what it wants. China's point of view, a lot, the, the goal is the rest of Xinjiang province. They're trying to, just like they've done with Tibet, is to economically integrate it to the rest of the country. And then you have the corridor that we're mostly focusing upon, which, which links Kashgar, right, going all the way down north-south, basically, and then hitting over to Gwadar. My point of view is a bit that for China, it's about energy security, it's about geopolitics. The nature of this world is very different than Pakistan's world. Now to turn to some forthcoming forum events. We are holding another seminar entitled Dissenting Voices, the Persecution of Bloggers. That will take place at Senate House, University of London on August 17th. Invitations can be obtained by email, the democracy forum at hotmail.co.uk. On September 28th, we will be hosting a dinner function at St. James Court Hotel in London. It is a by invitation only event and it is entitled Partition 70 Years On, Memory, Loss and Re Reconciliation. Distinguished guests from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and other countries will contribute short commentaries on that historical event. The Democracy Forum encourages academics, students, journalists and other socially and politically conscious people to attend our seminars and to participate in the question and answer session. Details are available on our website, thedemocracyforumlimited.com.